survived what could have been a deadly brain aneurysm is sharing his story today to remind others of the importance of not delaying care in this COVID-19 pandemic. Medical reporter Liz Bonus talked to him along with a medical team at TriHealth to share why getting urgent care should not be put off due to fear. I uh, came into uh, with a headache and um, turned out to be a brain aneurysm. By the time Eamon Coleman was referred to neurosurgeon Dr. Craig Kilbert, he admits he'd had his headache for almost nine days. For me, it was more of a, a situation where I had um, just, you know, given an opportunity to go away, but that obviously didn't work. In fact, he says he is likely one of the lucky ones. What's happening now with this virus might have helped save his life, but it also points to the fact that you simply cannot delay urgent care. The most dangerous thing that they could possibly do is not, not, not seek care when they're having any kind of concerning symptoms. Dr. Chris Zamet says since headaches were also symptoms of COVID, it's a good thing Eamon came into the ER where he got additional follow-up care because an aneurysm such as the kind Eamon had can weaken the artery wall and balloon out, raising the risk of serious stroke or injury to the brain. The best way to treat it was to place a special type of stent called a pipeline flow diverting stent and that stent basically works by um, directing more blood flow through the artery itself and less into the aneurysm so that then the aneurysm clots off over time. I'm lucky for a lot of reasons but I'm very lucky that I care, you know, that, that I had the, the level of care that I had. I'm kind of lucky that COVID came along honestly because I may not have had, um, the doctor who saw me originally um, could not see anything on the CAT scan that they had or the MRI and so they did a, a lumbar puncture on me to kind of check and see if there was something wrong with me so I'm kind of lucky that COVID was on because I may not have gotten that kind of level of care in the first place. The problem now, however, is that a recent study, partly conducted by some of the team you see here with Ohio's TriHealth Neuroscience Institute, says most people are delaying care when they need it for something other than COVID-19, sometimes by hours or days over the fear of catching the virus in a hospital. Really, in reality, the, the, you're probably safer coming to a hospital than most other places in the community. We, we worry that, and we've seen lots of evidence, that um, you know, um, patients, uh, members of our community that need to seek health care are delaying and deferring it, and, and it's sometimes resulting in pretty tragic uh, health, health consequences. I would say if you feel like something's wrong or you have any inkling that something's not quite right, you know, come in. I mean, um, you know, the doctors and the nurses and all the other staff here, it's not just your health uh, that they're worried about, it's also your safety as well. So it's, it's important that you get it taken care of as quickly as possible. I was very lucky, so. A medical reporter, Liz Bonus, reporting.